What is this? A human? Bland and unlikely. Feeding time brings only kin and clan. I am cruel to myself. You are a dream of strangers' faces and open doors. Examine her closely. She appears to be suffering from a high fever. Her skin is pale and she's covered in dark blotches. First day they come and catch everyone. What is that chant? It's what I've seen. What I will become. I force it into verse so it is fantasy. Unreal. That's the only place I can hide. Because they make me... They make me eat. And then all I could do was wish Laren went first. I wished it upon her so that I would be spared. But I had to watch. I had to see the change. How do you endure that? How did Bronca endure? What changed? What are they doing? What they are allowed to do. What they think they must. And Bronca, her lover, and I could not turn her. Forgive her. But no, she cannot be forgiven. Not for what she did. Not for what she has become. What did she do, Hesbeth? What did Branka do? I... I will not speak of her. What she did. Of what we have become. I will not turn. I will not become what I have seen. Not Laren. Not Branka. why they hate us that's why they need us that's why they take us that's why they feed us but the true abomination is not that it occurred but that it was allowed Branca my love the stone has punished me dream friend I am dying of something worse than death betrayal What's that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogren's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Endrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. He is dead, yes, and his family is in deadlock. Then what is your involvement in this? Why would a surfacer be interested in dwarven politics? You must have a patron. A highly placed patron. And they must want something in particular. Now, what might that be? I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The anvil of the void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. Of course there's a catch. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. 
This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the Dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the Anvil of the Void. Does that include Hesbeth in the office of your house? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the Anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Caradon's maze and out to where the Anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. My name is Caradon. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. If you seek the Anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Caradon as the Caradon of Caradon's Cross. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone, as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from hell. Sounds like black magic. A dangerous road. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the Anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. So you sealed it away so Ozma could use it? No! I entombed myself here to find a way to destroy the anvil. It must not be used again! No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. I need it to bargain with Branka. I won't make golems. As long as the anvil exists, it may be used to create slaves, and it will be used. Why seek a more difficult path when another, easier path is available? Help me destroy it. You're a paragon? I'll help you if you support the new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Branca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A Crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume. The anvil will let us take back our glory. The anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No, you will not take it. Not while I still live. Bronca, don't throw your life away for this. She's not the Bronca, you know. I stand aside. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. It's not a risk I'm willing to take. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? But, my friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. 
Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the Anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The Anvil waits there for you to shatter it. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? And I don't need a Paragon Sport to sell the election. For the aid you've given me, I shall put Hammer to Steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. destroy the anvil as agreed that would please me human Trust in our tongue shot. May you always find your way in the dark. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? A bear crown from Paragon Caden for his chosen king. Caradon was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradon forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden. Whom did Keridan choose? He wished me to give it to whoever I choose. The Grey Warden knows nothing about us. Why would a Paragon entrust someone like this with such a weighty decision? This is ridiculous! We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the Paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. I would grant the crown to Harriman. I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process.
Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. I will not abide by this! The ancestors have spoken! How many is your king stand behind him? Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon. Nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is. And I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. I have faith in you, King Harriman. Indeed. More than anyone but my wife, Warden. And I thank you for it. Those loyal to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzammar will fulfill its treaties. Thank you, King Haramont. Perhaps your rule will mark a new era for Orzammar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. And I must return to my duties on the surface. This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. 